My friend, my friend, my guy. Now this one is kind of fun. Lots of changes, different chords. I hope you dig on this. And uh, long story short for this is follow along, have fun, go slow, then make it your own. This is a foundation to learn how to play these tunes. I'm working out of the daily ukulele book. It's a big old yellow book. I'm not sponsored. I just enjoy teaching from it to sight read. If you get a chance, maybe pick one up yourself and do yourself a favor. Start sight reading today. My guy, we're going to be playing in the key of C major. As when I look at the first measure, there are no sharps and flats next to the uh, the fraction, <laughs> for lack of better terms. It's called a time signature. The other one that I'm alluding to is called a key signature. Whence having no sharps or flats visible next to the treble clef or the bass clef in any music, uh, depending on what clef you're in, it is in C. If it doesn't have a time signature, it's going to be in common time. Common time is 4-4, four, four, and if it has a C with it with a slash, that means it's going to be in cut time. Nothing you can say could tear me away from my guy. We're going to be playing a C major 7. We're going to be playing a C6. You guessed it. It's the infamous open chord, also known as an A minor 7. When we go to a C major 7 and back to the C6, that's the phrasing for the whole verse. And then as soon as it changes, it goes to an E7 after this C6. E7. And then we're going to play a quick D minor. What I like to do is play the traditional D minor and pop up to the high D minor and then slide back to that. It looks like a D major. I'm sorry, wrong instrument. G major with just the two fingers. But I know where the next chord's going. It's going to be going to a C major 7. So I don't like to play my C major 7s directly after. So I do something like that and switch my finger. It allows me to line up for the next chord depending on where we want to be going with our melody. So long story short, a uh, one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Nothing you can say can tear me away from my guy. My guy. Nothing you can do because I'm stuck like glue with my guy. D minor, sticking to my guy like. Oh, here we go. D minor, sticking to my guy like. Stop a letter, birds of a feather now. Stick together, C, turn from the start. D7, B torn apart. G7 to my guy. Turn around is D minor, E minor. We're walking up the scale here again, just with chords. C major, C6, C major, 7, C6, C major, 7, C6, C major, C7, C major, 7, C6, C major, 7, C6, C major, 7, C6. C major, 7, C6. C major, 7, C6. C E7, D minor, G6, G minor, D, G minor, G6, D minor, G6, and then it sits back on a C major, C major 7, D7, G7, C, D minor, E minor, does that verse. And then the second time through after repeating, it goes to the second ending, which holds out the guy and then goes into a really cool E minor, D minor part. We'll get there. Here we go. Second verse. Uh, Nothing you can do can make me untrue to my guy. Nothing you can make can tell me the lies to my guy. I gave my guy my word of honor to be faithful and I'm gonna tell you Best believing and best believing that you won't be deceiving. Second verse, my guy. D minor as a D minor to G7, D minor to G7, D minor to G7 to a C, A minor to an E minor, A minor to an E minor, D7, do to do to a G to a G7, back to. We're going to take the D, C, Al Coda. So what that means is we're going to go all the way back to the top of the song. Just so happens that's the third verse. <gasps> oh, muscle bound a man can take my hand for my guy. My guy. No handsome face could ever take the place of my guy. My guy. D minor, G6. third ending is going to be going from the first to the second ending because we're following it through and then we're going to be taking that to the coda which means if we're going to want to go after that second my guy it just finishes the song 
okay? When we end on there, you repeat it over and over again, and then you end. There's nothing you can do can take me away from my guy. C7. Hope you had a great time today. Aloha.